car just shaking too much when it's idling like this Toyota? Then stay tuned, because I'm going to show you how you can fix a car that's idling poorly. Now these Toyota Camrys often idle low, especially if you just change the battery out. Now in the olden days, if the car idled low, you could just turn the auto screw up. But those things have been gone for decades. They're all set by computers now, so you can't adjust them manually. Now when you change a battery in a car, especially these Toyotas, the computer resets the idle to the factory settings, which is fine for a new car, but this car is 12 years old, so when you do that, a lot of times it'll start idling poorly. So something as dumb as a dirty air filter or a clogged throttle plate will make the car idle really low. So you got to check them and clean them if they're dirty. So we'll check the air filter, and in this case, it's not too dirty. And now we'll check the throttle. We'll take off the air duct, unscrew the clamps, and pull the air duct out of the way. And now we can look inside the throttle, and as you can see, it's full of black carbon. We need to clean all that out. Now these are electronic throttles, so we're going to take off the negative battery terminal so we don't short anything out while we're cleaning it. Then we get our throttle spray cleaner and start cleaning it up. Spray the heck out of it. And get a clean rag, stick your finger in. You want to clean the inside too because it's the edges that get dirty. Just look at all the crud that's coming off. You want to do it for five or ten minutes because you really want to get rid of all that carbon buildup. Now when you're done cleaning the throttle, it's a good idea to just leave it all open for about 45 minutes or an hour so all the solvent evaporates so it doesn't start weird and run funny for a while. Now after it's dry, you put the air ducts back on. Then of course put the battery back on. And of course make sure you got your burglar alarm remote ready so the horn doesn't drive the neighbors nuts. And since we disconnected the battery, now it's got to do an idle relearn. So you start the car, and it might be a little bit hard to start until you get the cleaner up, so play with the throttle a little. And once you get it started, oh, leave it at about 2,000 RPM for about one minute. Then let it sit for about five minutes idling on its own so the computer can relearn the idle strategy. And voila, now you have a nice smooth idling engine. And it costs you less than five bucks for the throttle spray cleaner. Remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done knocking this parking lot down.